The Lut Brigade of the Ukrainian army are firing D-30 howitzers to try to slow the Russian encroachment in the Toritsk area, as Russian forces advance in eastern Ukraine. Soldiers of the Lut Brigade have been policemen before, but now they have become servicemen. Toritsk is a key city for Russians as an advantage in Toritsk would give the possibility for the Russian army to continue their offensive toward cities of Kostyantinivka and Pokrovsk. Now Ukrainian forces are able to hold the ground and to keep defending the city of Toritsk, according to men on the ground. We are currently in Toritsk direction, Donetsk district. We are working every day. The situation is very tight now, the enemy is pushing constantly, trying to test us, reveal location of our positions. That's why we are staying in shelter, if possible and also we are working against the personnel, ammunition storages and against equipment of the enemy, which is trying to advance in our direction, servicemen of LUT Brigade Alexander said. Зараз ми знаходимося на Торецькому напрямку, Донецька область. Працюємо ми переважно кожен день. Дуже щільно час зараз у нас обстановка. Ворог тисне постійно, постійно намагається прощупати нас, виявити нашу точку позиції. Тому при можливості ми не знаходимося в укритті, а так працюємо. Працюємо по особовому складу, по складу з БК, боєкомплекту та техніка противника, яка намагається просунути в наш бік. Візьміть гармата, маскування, укриття. Установки я тебе оставляю. Пятером жили, они там вдвоем. Ситуація дійсно напружена в зв'язку з тим, що міста просто руйнуються під фундамент. Багатоквартирні домівки вони зносяться повністю. Тут теж вон, каби літають, села горять, люди кричать вночі, допомогти ми їм не можемо. Нічим. Хата розлітається, як карточний будинок. Все, пішли. Пробою. Пробою, пробою. Заряд зменшений. Зменшений. Так, да, нічого не достаю. Да. Так, Рома. Да, да. Готовий. Армата. Постріл! Да, це маскування укриття. 707. Плюс. Чисто. Russia is losing the strategic initiative in the war against Ukraine. The Russian armed forces are too weak for serious operations at the front. An associate of the Czechist Igor Strelkov, Z-War correspondent Maxim Kalashnikov, openly spoke about this in his blog. The propagandist emphasized that the Russian army today is not capable of either displacing the Ukrainian defense forces from the Kursk region or continuing its offensive on Pokrovsk. Do you understand that we are actually losing the strategic initiative now? The Ukrainian armed forces have invaded Kursk. 
We don't have the forces to drive the enemy out of there. I always said, why this Kharkiv operation? Why go to Kharkiv from Volchansk? They only wasted their troops. Well, that's having an effect now. The advance on Pokrovsk has also stopped. We don't have the forces now, guys. The strategic scales are starting to tip in favor of our enemy, Kalashnikov said. He also complained about the Putin regime, which, in his words, is unwilling to make the necessary rational decisions. Earlier, it is reported that Kalashnikov predicted catastrophic consequences for Russia if the Kremlin decides on a new wave of mobilization. The Z propagandist is sure that this could end in a revolution. He made attention to the fact that the Russian authorities have already increased the one-time payment to recruits by more than 2 million rubles or about $21,000 at the official exchange rate. Despite this, there are fewer and fewer people willing to participate in the so-called SVO. Meanwhile, the Russian armed forces have developed an acute shortage of manpower at the front due to huge losses. In the first month, the recruit is offered more than 3 million. Guest workers, migrants are welcomed, they are granted citizenship. Everything is flooded with money, loot. What does this mean? Any Western enemy intelligence officer will immediately conclude that there are simply not enough people, that the previous flow of contract soldiers is not enough. He will conclude about the level of losses, about the flow of those now wanting to sign a contract. And this is all a threat, Kalashnikov said. He is sure that the enemies are deliberately pushing the Kremlin to announce a new wave of mobilization in order to cause unrest in the Russian Federation and the collapse of the Putin regime. He is sure that Russia is not ready for a new wave of mobilization. The rear supply is not organized. The Ministry of Defense is in complete disorganization due to mass purges.